Hello, I'm Atu Jameer and you're watching Hornbill TV Spam at 9. Now, news and details. Following the first visit of Espanyong Konyak after being elected for the lone Rajya Sabha seat of Nagaland, Thanksgiving program in honor of Espanyong Konyak Member of Parliament, Rajya Sabha was organized at private residence Montam. Various leaders, Chief Ang Mon and well wishers, had gathered for the program. Short speeches were delivered by Chief Ang Mon Village, President Chingai Wart Mon Town, Oting Yunnan Mon Town, KNSK Oting Sheko Kong Mon Town. Prayer of thanksgiving and blessing was invoked by Reverend Nangom Pastor Konyak Baptist Church Mon. Russia on Wednesday sanctioned Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and other senior officials of the country, including journalists and professors. The move came after Tokyo joined a list of countries that have taken punitive measures against Moscow for its military campaign in Ukraine. Japanese Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi and Defense Minister Nobuo Kishi are also on the list of those sanctioned by Russia. The sanctions bar the targeted individuals from entering Russia indefinitely, Moscow said. Russia last month slapped a travel ban on United States Vice President Kamala Harris in response to sanctions imposed by the U.S. over the Kremlin's military operations in Ukraine. Putin chose this war, and now he and his country will bear the consequences. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. This is going to impose severe cost on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. Russia calls it its attack on Ukraine's special military operation to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. Kyiv and its Western allies reject that as a false pretext for an illegal war and acts of aggression. The travel ban covered 27 other U.S. officials, including senior Pentagon figures, American business leaders, journalists, according to the Russian Foreign Ministry, which said the ban would remain in effect in perpetuity as well. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg has also been targeted by Russian sanctions. Facebook and Instagram, part of Zuckerberg's Meta Empire, were earlier banned by Russia which branded the platform's extremist organizations. U.S. defense officials, including Pentagon spokesman John Kirby and Deputy Secretary of Defense Caitlin Hicks, also feature on Russia's list, AFP reported. In the same list, Russia also served 61 Canadian citizens, including several government officials and again journalists, with an indefinite travel ban. Earlier, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who has frequently voiced his support for Ukraine and served several UK ministers, were banned for their unprecedented hostile actions for imposing sanctions over the Ukraine conflict. And I think in what Putin has done in places like Bucha and in Irpin, uh, his war crimes have permanently polluted his reputation and the reputation of his, of his government. And he's going to intensify the pressure now in Donbass and in the East. And so that's why it's so vital, as you rightly say, Volodymyr, that we, your friends, continue to offer whatever support uh, that we can. The so-called stop list issued by Moscow also included Indian origin ministers, UK Chancellor Rishi Sunak, Home Secretary Priti Patel and Attorney General Suela Braverman, as well as Deputy UK Prime Minister Dominic Raab, Foreign Secretary Liz Truss and Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. While on the other hand, 70 days into the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the European Union has issued a proposal on Wednesday, 4th May, to ban all Russian oil imports. And this will be 
the sixth package of sanctions slapped on Vladimir Putin led Russia. Today we are presenting our sixth package of sanctions. First, we are listing high-ranking military officers and individuals who committed war crimes in Bucha and those who are responsible for the inhuman siege of the city of Mariupol. This sends another important signal to all perpetrators of the Kremlin. We will make sure that we phase out Russian oil in an orderly fashion, so in a way that allows us and our partners to secure alternative supply routes and at the same time be very careful that we minimize the impact on the global market. And this is why we will phase out Russian supply of crude oil within six months and refine products by the end of the year. As Russia continues its attack on Ukraine, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that they are seeking full restoration of territory, including Crimea. Zelensky mentioned three top goals to halt Russia's reclaimed territory and restore Ukraine's entire territory through diplomacy reported Ukrainian media. Mentioning that Ukraine will not retreat, Zelensky asserted that victory will be theirs. He further accused Russia of breaching agreements to pause fighting long enough to allow vulnerable civilians to be moved to safety. Even the UN-coordinated operation and the steel works in Mariupol. Russian forces on Tuesday renewed their attacks on the Azov Sal steel plant. The last pocket of resistance in Ukraine's Mariupol, said Ukrainian defenders. Russia began storming the steel mill just as scores of civilians were evacuated from the bombed-out plant and reached relative safety. With a lot of villages in Nagaland implementing the no dogs allowed or shoot on site law imposed for fear of spread of rabies within the village, the Ungma Village Council and Students' Union have come up with an initiative against these rules in order that no pet dogs will be harmed in any way. On the Mokoktung district, the Ungma Village Council has mandated that each and every dog in a household has to be vaccinated and registered by law. The Ungma Students' Union has directed that each dog will have to wear a tag with the registration number on it. Then the owner's name and phone number along with the registration number of the dog will be added. If any dog is seen loitering around the village, the tag helps them to reach out to the owner of the dog. Further, it was informed that the owner are in turn fined a penalty for letting their dogs loose without supervision. While it is also made compulsory for each dog to be vaccinated, which will be checked by the students' union, it was also directed that every household will, with a bad dog needs to have a kennel. The president of Ungma Students' Union spoke to Hormlo TV. Let's have a listen. All right. Um, uh, the main concern was uh, sp spreading rabies in the, mm -hmm. in the village. Okay. And the Ungma people also, they took pride in... Uh, maintaining the village clean mm -hmm. so uh since the uh, if we just let the dog uh roam around in the village then uh we used to lead the uh village right so okay. uh, um <coughs> uh, that is the main, uh, that was the main concern okay and so uh, the village council they have decided to uh you know, uh, they, to keep the dogs inside the house, mm -hmm. or say to not to let the dogs uh, go outside. Okay. So they have proposed us. Uh, they have approached us, and they told. Uh, they have entrusted us to make a uh, plan mm -hmm. to keep the uh, to keep the dogs um, in a certain way so that they don't go outside and litter the. Village as well, as well as to uh, to contain the spread of rabies in the village. Okay, so, so they are uh, they are all vaccinated. They they it has been mandated that they will they should be vaccinated, right? Yeah, all yeah. All dogs yeah. and uh, registered, and then the un union will be checking on them. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Um, uh, we used to do like this. Uh, when the owner buys a dog. Mm -hmm. After three months, mm -hmm. they used to, uh, they have to register because okay. they, they used to vaccinate only after three months, right? The dogs. Yes. So once they uh, vaccinate, mm -hmm. they will uh, they they will register uh, mm -hmm. 
Okay. We will register them and okay. we will provide a deck to them. Okay. It's, uh, that is how we do it. Okay. They, they have to show their registra uh, uh, registration card. Okay. And for that, we register them. So, and if dogs are found loitering and the tag is there, the dog is given a tag with the owner's name, and if they are found loitering, uh, will the um, how much is the fine, uh, the penalty for the owners of the dogs? There's no uh, specific or say uh, um, amount that they need to be fined or say uh, something like that. Okay. It depends on the village council. Okay. Uh, what we do is just we we will just click a picture of uh, the dog uh, loitering outside. All right, all right. Uh, so um, once they uh, identify, mm -hmm. we will we will just give to the village council. Okay. After that they do the uh, necessary. Yeah, yeah, the necessary. Okay. Uh, so. Was there any incident where there was ever shoot at sight of dogs in Uma? Was there any previous incident? Uh, uh, it never happened in uh, Uma village. Okay, okay. So do you think that other villages in and around Nagaland, because this shoot at sight of dogs, is very it ha it happens and it goes uh, unreported. So do you think that like, uh, other villages also should adopt such measures and initiative? I I believe so. I mean, till now. Uh, since we have started this uh, attacking the dogs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there has been no incident of a dog uh, spreading uh, uh, rabies and you know okay. uh, those horse uh, affected by those okay. uh, dogs. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a uh, it's a good thing, uh, okay. and I think uh, the other villages uh, should also follow this. It's a very simple thing, and okay. at the same yep. time, it's very safety. Recently, the Mapur Municipal Council warned the public against animal cruelty. In regard to this, DMC, in collaboration with Veterinary Department, the Mapur Police and Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, conducted a surprise check at supermarket the Mapur for the illegal sale of dogs. To know more about this, Hornbill TV spoke with SPCA and NOAA's ARC member, Imli Sen. She informed that as soon as they reached for the surprise check in the market, the sellers who were illegally selling dogs fled the scene. First of all, it was initiated by SPCA Dimapur in collaboration with uh, Dimapur Police, DMC and the Veterinary Department. So, uh, Dr. Zuben from the Veterinary Department. Okay. He was a part of the patrol and uh, Ma'am Sentila from DMC mm. okay. and uh, the Mapo police and yeah, the SPCA members uh, around uh, around uh, seven of us from SPCA. Okay, so, so did, yeah. did you, uh, you know, like rescue any dogs? So actually, since this was our first ever surprise uh, patrol, I mean surprise visit, we decided that we will just warn them of the consequences this time. And uh, so we just uh, educated and sort of uh, let the vendors know of uh, the Cruelty PCA Act mm. that uh, selling of dogs like with their mouths tied or being sold in the sacks where like they're cruelly treated or sometimes you know uh, some dogs even suffer and they die, right? So such practices mm. are illegal is what we uh, educated the vendors on. And yeah, uh, so there was a puppy. Was, so when we reached the spot, almost all the vendors, they fled. They were not there. Okay. Okay. So, but then we, uh, we saw a puppy which was tied with a uh, plastic rope. Okay. So yeah, we educated the vendor and let her know that uh, this should not be repeated again. And we, of course, we did not rescue that puppy. We just warned her this time. Okay. So, uh, can yeah. you tell us uh, earlier, like you have spoken about the act that is uh, given for the safety of uh, yeah. animals. Can you please tell us more about the act and the penalty that comes under that? So, uh, Prevention of Cruelty Against Animals Act 1960. It's called uh, PCA Act 1960. So, as per this, there are, there are a lot of laws. Actually, this law applies not only just for dogs and uh, cats, or but this applies for all all the animals. Okay, so uh, as per the law, you uh, what we are emphasizing right now is like you cannot uh, we cannot dictate someone's food habits, but when dogs are being sold in the middle of the road, tied up in sacks, you know, 
you know, uh, under such scorching heat. These are illegal and these are, uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, against the PCA. These are all written uh, against the law uh, under the PCA Prevention of Cruelty Act 1960. So, yeah. uh, the next time you go, you will be rescuing uh, dogs? Yes, we will be confiscating the dogs. Okay. And we have a shelter in Burma Camp, Burma Camp Dimapur. So, we will be confiscating the dogs and we will be putting them, up in, the uh, putting them in the shelter and they will be up for adoption. In 2020, the DMC in compliance to the state government order on dog meat ban and in accordance to the provision of the FSS Act 2006, and FSS regulations 2011, commercial import and trading of dogs and dog markets, and slaughtering and commercial sale of dog meat in markets and dining restaurants was banned within the jurisdiction of the Mapu Municipal Council. Any person found violating this order shall be liable to be punished under Section 428 and 429 of Indian Penal Code 1860 and Section 11 of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. 1960 and or any such other provision of law as may be applicable. The state public transport system, which has become a lifeline means of transport for the people living below the line of poverty, Nagaland State Transport Assistance Station Superintendent Office has been left abundant and defunct for almost two years at Mariani. Hornbill TV did a ground report on the defunct state of the office. Let's have a look at a detailed report with our reporter Deep Saikya. Mokan Nortis Laga, any state tape, public transport use Kora. कथा साइसे कोले स्टेट गवर्नमेंट है थागा स्टेट ट्रांसपोर्ट के मोखान प्रेफरेंस दिए एनी लेवल लगा मानु मिडिल क्लास हो भी बिलो पोवर्टी लिमिट हो भी मैं हाई लेवल लगा रॉयल लेवल लखन लगा कथा कुआ न होए मैं बिलो पोवर्टी लिमिट लगा मानु कारणे आज एक ता हॉर्नबिल टीवी टे मोखान एक ता रिपोर्ट देखा हाब आसे को बो मार्केटिंग हाब आसे को बार मुझे लगा पिक्चर है अपनी खान के एक ता ऑफिस लगा पिक्चर देखा बो और ऑफिस लगा साइनबोर्ड देखा बो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ लगालेन ऑफिस ऑफ द एसिस्टेंट स्टेंट सुपरिटेंट नगालेन स्टेट ट्रांसपोर्ट मोरियानी आरु इतु खाली इतिया लास्ट टू इयर्स पूरा एक ता साइनबोर्ड लगा नाम दे थकी आसर इतु आमी बिसी दिन पूरा ऑब्जर्व करी आसर याते नागालेन टे स्टेट ट्रांसपोर्ट इतिया भी जाय आसर मोरानी पूरा भाया दिमापुर मुक्चुंग टुली बेराय ऐसे लिमिटेड गाड़ी पहला निश्चित था कान होए कोरोना आगे ते जिनमान था किसे बिसीबाग प्रिकॉशन पड़ा बिसीबाग सरकारी नॉर्म्स पड़ा में भी ट्रांसपोर्ट लगा अमाउंट तो कमी से ट्रांसपोर्ट लगा क्वांटिटी कमी से होल भी कंटिन्यूअस जाए से कि इफ नागालैंड ते बिलो प्रोवाइडी लिमिट लगा यूज करा मानो लगा स्टेट ट्रांसपोर्टेड वन लेन ओनली इतु निज होप आसे को बोले पारे मोखन बिसी बाग नागालैंड लगा रिमोट एरिया ते स्टेट ट्रांसपोर्ट जाए होले भी मोरा नीते आज दो ही साल आगे पड़ा एने का एक ता ऑफिस लगा नाम ते ऑफिस थकिया से किंतु याते भेटोटे एनएसटी बास तो नुगुसे इतु कारणे बिसी बाग टाइम टाइम ही मोरा नीते देखे मोरा नी स्टेशन पूरा दिमापुर पूरा एवरी एंटर बिसी बाग स्टेट पूरा डिस्ट्रिक्ट पूरा ही किने मानुकान गाड़ी कारणे रुकी थके जो दी इतु एनएसटी ट्रांसपोर्ट एको काम ना एनएसटी ट्रांसपोर्ट याते लॉस टेन प्रॉफिट लगा भी कोथा आसे गवर्नमेंट लगा ट्रांसपोर्ट सिस्टम लगा जो दी है याते कि बार लॉस आसे कि बार छोली बोले टाइखान लगा फ्रीक्वेंटली बस जाए था किसे फ्रीक्वेंटली याते होटल खान था किसे होटल खान था का टाइम तो याते बस है कि ना स्टॉप कोरी कि ना पैसेंजर खान लोई था किसे किंतु आजी लास्ट टू इयर्स पूरा की होई से ना जाने इतिहास भी मानो का ना है कि ना रास्ता ते बिसी भाग रुकी था 
ইটো তো কবলে গেছে কলে রাস্তা লাগা না থাকা নিচিনা জায়গাতে যাওয়া নিচিনা আছে টাটাতে উঠি উঠি কিনে যাওয়া তো দুঃখ আছে উপায় নাই মানুষ আনু ঘর পৌঁছিব লাগিব স্টেট ট্রান্সপোর্ট ডিপার্টমেন্ট এনেকা ফেসিলিটিস থাকি কিনে কেলে করা নাই এইটো ইনকোয়ারি হব লাগে আর সচাবি এই জায়গাতে একু কাম না থাকিছে কলে একটা নোটিস দি কিনে বন্ধ করব লাগে আর ইয়াতে ডেপ্লয়েড করে থাকা মানুষকে দুসরা জায়গাতে নি কিনে শিফট করব লাগে আর এনেকা পাবলিক প্রপার্টি বেশিরভাগ জায়গাতে নাগালেন্ডে চাই থাকে এনেকা গভর্নমেন্ট লাগা প্রপার্টি মিস ইউজ করে থাকা টাইমতে আমি খান নিউজ চেনেল লাগা ডিউটি আছে গভর্নমেন্টকে ফোকাস করে দিয়া তো আর পাবলিক লাগা ডিউটি আছে অপোজ করা তো পাবলিক লাগা অপোজিশন কথা সুদিব গেছে গেলে বেশিরভাগ মানুষ নাগালেন্ডে রিফিউজ করে গভর্নমেন্ট লাগা এগেনস্টে কবল দিবলে এইটো তো কি কারণে করে এই মানে এখন নজানে গভর্নমেন্ট লাগা এগেনস্টে মিস ইউজ করে করা দেখা পাইছে গেলে মানুষ আন্ত অল্প কবলে রিফিউজ করে এইটো নাগালেন্ড পরা আহি কিনে মুকচুং পরা আহি কিনে আদার ডিস্ট্রিক্ট খান পরা আহি কিনে যায় হলে বি এন এস টি লাগা আজ এই ডেডলি স্টেটাস থাকার পর আজি বেশিরভাগ মানুষ বিলো প্রভাইড এনিমিল লাগা মানুষ খান আজি দুঃখ পাই আছে তো আমি এখান হোপ করব স্টেট গভর্নমেন্টে থাকা স্টেট কমিশনার খান পর এই স্টেপ লব আর মোরানিতে বন্ধ হয়ে থাকা এই অফিস কারণে যদিহে ইয়াতে কিনা লস আছে কিনা চলি বলে তাই খান লাগা কি কি কোয়ান্টিটি হিসাবে পেসেঞ্জার লাগে এই নাহে ইয়াতে লাগা কিনা কথা আছে তাহলে ইয়াতে নোটিস দিব লাগে আর পাবলিককে আওয়ার করব লাগে এন এস টি তো আজির পর বন্ধ হয়েছে হলে বি এন এস টি ট্রান্সপোর্ট তো টাইম টাইমতে ইয়াতে কোনো বা কোন ডিপ্লয়েড হয়ে কিনে আছে আহি কিনে কেতিয়াবা খুলে আর এনেকা বন্ধ করে কিনে যায় যায় আর এটু আছে আজি লাগা এন এস টি ট্রান্সপোর্ট লাগা ডেডলি পুরা ডেডলি হয়েছে কব কেলে মানে ইয়াতে বাস লাগা একু আমি খান অহা নেদেখে ইয়াতে একু গাড়ি যা নেদেখে হলে বি মান কমিশনারকে একটা রিকুয়েস্ট করবলে মন যা তো সচাবি এই ইউটিলাইজ নহয়েছে কলে ইয়াতে একটা ডেপ্লয়েড হয়ে কিনে এটা থাকিব নাগালেন্ড গভর্নমেন্ট পরা তাই তানখা খাই কিনে থাকিব এনেকা পাবলিক প্রপার্টি কি কারণে এনেকা ইউজ নকরি কিনে ফেলাই কিনে এনেকা ডেডলি এই স্টেটাস দিয়ে আছে এই মহান নজানে এই ইনকোয়ারি হব লাগে আর হসপিটাল কাম কারণে আহে মার্কেটিং কাম কারণে আহে হলে বি পাবলিক স্টেট ট্রান্সপোর্ট থাকা তো সব জায়গাতে কেনকা কি হয়েছে নজানে এটা মানুষ আন আহি কিনে রাস্তাতে বেশিরভাগ রখি থাকা দেখে রাতে দুই বাজি তিন বাজি আহে আনফর্চুনেট কিনা হব পে মাইকী মানুষ খান টাটাতে যায় মতা মানুষ খান যায় এজেড মানুষ খান যায় সিনিয়র সিটিজেন খান যায় এইটো তো কবলে গেছে কলে রাস্তা লাগা না থাকা নিচিনা জায়গাতে যাওয়া নিচিনা আছে টাটাতে উঠি উঠি কিনে যাওয়া তো দুঃখ আছে উপায় নাই মানুষ আনু ঘর পৌঁছিব লাগিব Kifiri District Planning and Development Board has approved to construct Ayush Hospital in a district at a meeting held at DC's conference hall on Wednesday. The meeting was chaired by the DC T. Wati Ayer and attended by departmental heads from district headquarters, civil organization, tribal bodies and students organization. Besides approving the construction of Ayush Hospital, the other agenda given a green signal was the upgradation of skill of NOC school Kifiri from primary to middle school level. The School Education Department, KVK, and NIDA delivered PowerPoint presentations. Mumbai Court on Wednesday granted conditional bail to independent MP Navni Jana and her MLA husband, Ravi Rana. who were arrested in the Hanuman Chalisa recital case. The couple was arrested from their home after giving a call for reciting Hanuman Chalisa outside Chief Minister Udaf Takri's private residence. According to the lawyer Rizwan Merchant, the duo shall be released on a bail of Rs 50,000 each, ordered not to speak to the media pertaining to the case under investigations and refrain from tampering with evidence. The Rana duo was booked and arrested by Kara police station on April 23rd and slapped with several charges including sedition breach of public peace, making inciting statements and other sections for their plans to chant Hanuman Chalisa outside the Takari's personal home. Madhu Shri in Bandra East. The special public prosecutor Pradeep Kolad argued that chanting of Hanuman Chalisa could incite religious passions which was strongly opposed by the Rana's lawyers. The bail application of both Ravi Rana and his wife Navneet Kaur Rana has been allowed by the court. They have been directed to be released on bail in the sum of this 50,000 with one more securities of like amount. There are certain conditions which have been imposed by the court. Number one condition is that they shall cooperate with the investigation by making their attendance available to the police station. 
Police station is directed that whenever you require their attendance, you should issue a notice in advance of 24 hours, which can be delivered to them at either personally or through their mobile or through advocate. And uh, the other condition is that they shall not tamper, they shall not hamper. One very important condition is, which you people should also adhere to, that they are not supposed to address the press on any subject matter which is under investigation. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hormel TV.